now we will go on to the video insha'Allah ta'ala a video of where some travelers one Egyptian and one Central Asian Muslim they go to the location of the barrier which Salam had witnessed so as we play the video I will give you a running commentary insha'Allah this is Salam at Tarjuman's map so the map al wathiq Billah this map an old ancient map of the route that a Salam at Tarjuman took through various territories including the Khazar Empire As he mentioned, it took 16 months and he took 30 men and half of them died on the way and they were reimbursed by the Khalifa al wathiq Billah. He even gave blood money. Now he uses Google Maps to go to the same area. As he goes to using Google Maps, he locates a barrier in Kyrgyzstan, modern day Kyrgyzstan. So outwardly the barrier looks like a snow covering between two mountains. A snow covering between two mountains. So this is a, a modern map and this is the ancient map. I have copies of this also. This is the ancient map that they took. Even though the researcher of this book doesn't mention Kyrgyzstan. Because he believes that it was the great wall of China they observed and they came back. So this now is the barrier, a picture of the barrier on Google Maps. So people say, where is the barrier on Google Maps? So if you notice, these are two mountain passes. As the Quran describes, Bain of Sadafain. Sadafain is the two tips of a mountain. And they are also described in the Quran as Saddain. So between the two, a barrier is made. So these are the individuals who leave. They go to Kyrgyzstan now, taking uh, guides with them to go through the mountain range. So these mountains are some of the highest mountains in the world. And the people are horse. Uh, they use horse uh, to, to scope the mountains still to this day, similar to the Mongols. And if you look at the flag of Kyrgyzstan, it has a sun. So Zul Qarnayn alayhi salam journeyed out to find where the sun sets and where the sun rises. This is mentioned. There is an additional video to this with uh, Genghis Khan's uh, history and how uh, the, uh, and regarding the water, the black lake. There is a black lake in Kyrgyzstan as well with black water which fits the description of the Quran. So now they pass through all these mountain passes So uncharted territory. At this point they rest for the night. So they camp out in, in the wilderness. At this point he's just describing what food he's eating uh, f for the night. Of course the original video is in Arabic. Otherwise we would have played the sound.
Now the next morning they depart from the campsite to the actual barrier. So one of them will board a plane with the army of Kyrgyzstan and the other one will go by foot uh, using donkeys and mules. So the terrain fits the uh, stereotypical description of Ya'juj and Ma'juj terrain as well as the physical description of the Kyrgyzstani people or the people in that locality. Now they plan out the journey. Uh, this is the Egyptian researcher. He will be boarding a plane and the native people will be going uh, by mules. So they prepare for the journey, a bit similar to Salam at Tarjuman, because he mentions they took with them mules and donkeys. So they needed mules and donkeys to, to research the, the terrain. So they ascend now using the mules or ponies. Now this is through the pass, the, the passing that we saw on the Google Maps. The side video is showing the Egyptian researcher boarding a plane with the army. So the army now will take him by plane uh, with the helicopter, sorry, to, to have a bird's eye view of the barrier. While the more interesting journey is the, the men on the ponies because they will come across some interesting artifacts. He's planning the journey now with the army officers. And remember, what's interesting is that they've used Salam Tarjuman's map. And using a Salam Tarjuman's map, they found an actual barrier on Google Map. Using Google Map, they're actually flying and, tr and going by mules to the location. So it will be interesting for us now to see what they actually discover. So now they cannot even use mules. They must use backpacks. So they take the backpacks to ascend. As they march through, he finds man-made iron blocks. So this is one of the interesting finds. So iron blocks that were man-made, they will show those blocks that are lying around the region of the wall. So this is one block made from iron, but this, the as you can see, that's man-made, that's done by men, that's not done by uh, nature. As you notice, uh, the mountains are clear of any snow. 
But when they reach the barrier, there will be snow covering the barrier. This is because iron is cold and the, the ice remains on the barrier throughout the year because of the cold iron. So initially when you, were gonna, when you will see the barrier, you will think this is just snow. But then what they will do is get ice picks and break through the ice and then use metal detectors to show that it's an actual iron barrier. So as they fly now, this flat ice that you observe is an actual barrier. What it covers is between two mountain tops, and what's behind that, as they believe, is Ya'juj and Ma'juj, the tribe. This would mean that the backside of the mountain is covering, the, covering Ya'juj and Ma'juj like a roof, so like a huge a cave or a huge tunnel that goes underground. So that would mean the, the two sides of the mountain cover them and also the top of the mountain. And the, the, the Ya'juj and Ma'juj were a mountain civilization that was embedded inside of the mountain and this barrier is covering them. This is if we follow this claim. I'll give my conclusion at the end. So this is now the back part of the mountain so there's no way that someone can penetrate the inside of the mountain because all parts are covered. So that's the backside. But then the man-made area is the front. They claim that the front is the barrier of Ya'juj and Ma'juj when this side where the snow is showing. And they're saying that the snow and the ice remains throughout the year because the barrier is cold. So therefore the, the snow is retained. So this part they would claim is the barrier. <coughs> so these are the stones he shows again, uh, the iron man-made stones. As you can see, blocks. These are actual blocks of iron that are man-made. So these are, if the claim is true, then these are the remnants of some kind of dynamites that blew <coughs> or some tools that were used to make iron blocks. They have a Sheikh Sha'rawi playing in the original video, re re reciting some tafsir, uh, mentioning some commentary on the Surah Al-Kahf. Of course, a Sheikh Sha'rawi never ascribed to this position. This is a more recent discovery. If we uh, dismiss uh, the discovery of a Salam Tarjuman. So they would claim that is the barrier, and the two ends are the Sadafain, and the rest of the mountain is covered. So if you remove the barrier, there is an entrance into the mountain. So this would mean an underground. A civilization or a mountain civilization. That is a better view, as you can see. It would take more independent scholars to travel out to Kyrgyzstan and verify this slope uh, with more meticulous methods. If any of you are hikers and fit enough to go, then we can arrange some kind of journey to Kyrgyzstan. I'm sure the mountains of Yorkshire 
help uh, in in reaching some type of fitness. So now what they will do is they will hang, uh, go down the slope, cut away some of the ice, and then check for the metal. So this is a top view of the mountain and of the uh, claimed barrier. They are claiming if you remove the ice, underneath is a barrier made from iron blocks. This is the claim. So he de has descended and now he cuts out some of the ice and then uses a metal detector. Here in writing they claim those, that view is the two mountains on either side which were from where Ya'juj and Ma'juj would appear and this barrier blocks them from coming out. Now he utilizes the metal detector. So in the original video you would hear the bleeping of the metal detector. It shows positive for metal. So there is metal behind the ice. They claim this is the barrier, the barrier of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. So wherever he moves the metal detector, there is a bleeping sound. And this is to show, they throw an object down to show that the smooth surface is because it's a flat wall, not a natural, not a natural wall. And this is a final view of what they claim is the barrier of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Of course, uh, this will be disputed by people present. Uh, I'm, I am not claiming this is conclusive. I, I just found this to be an interesting piece of research. The fact that they went out their way to research it uh, we should commend them for that.